Hey guys, Deronda here with Foods 101. Today, I'm going to show you how to make these ham and cheese stuffed crescent rolls with pickles. Oh yeah, you're in for a real treat. Everyone loves these. The ingredients you're going to need is four slices of pickles, one egg. I'm using this to do an egg wash on our crescent rolls. I'll show you how to do that here in a little bit. Four to eight slices of thin ham. I'm going to leave it up to you on the brand to buy. I'm using four sticks of mozzarella cheddar cheese stick, Dijon mustard. You can use whatever mustard you like or you may leave it out. And one eight ounce can of your store-bought crescent rolls. We're going to first start by opening our crescent rolls. And as you can see those little perforated lines to make your crescent rolls, we're just going to follow and tear apart the perforated part in the center. And then we're going to leave two of our triangles intact. So we kind of have like a square. And then we're going to pinch this together. Going to pinch it together just like that. You may want to roll it out a little bit if you want. Now back with that mustard. If you're adding mustard, we can go ahead and spread this on our dough at this time. You can put as much or as little as you want. Or like I said, if you want to leave it out, go ahead and leave it out. Back with that ham. Add two slices of our thin ham. Oh my gosh, these are going to be so, so yummy. Then we're going to add our slice, a slice pickle, and we're going to add one of our cheese sticks. Then we're going to continue. We're just going to roll it up all the way, come to the end. And again, we're going to pinch it tight together so we can keep it shut. Pinch the ends so all that cheese will stay in there when it starts baking. And as you can see, the perforated area, we're going to pull it together and we're going to pinch it tightly. We don't want that cheese leaking out of the crescent rolls. Now this is ready for the baking sheet. Let's do another one quickly. Again, you're going to pinch together that perforated part of your dough with the mustard. If you're using it, we can just spread it generously here on our dough. Yep, you can use anything you want. Add two thin slices of ham. And if you want to use slices of turkey and chicken, you can do that too with our pickle and then our cheese. And then again, we're just going to Roll it over, roll it up, tuck it in, and pinch it together. Just like that. Make sure you get it pinched well together back here on the back as well. As this is off to that baking sheet. Got my stuffed ham and cheese crescent rolls here. Now for that egg wash, we're going to take that egg, add it with two teaspoons of water, and we're going to give it a lovely little beating. You want that egg well incorporated with your water. That looks great. Back with our stuffed croissants. Using a pastry brush, we're just going to lightly brush the top of each one. Make sure you get all the way over there to the end. And at this point, you want your oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to bake according to the crescent roll package directions. Just for fun, I've got some little poppy seeds here. If you have sesame seeds, you can add them here to the top. I think it makes it look real professional, like it came from a real bakery. You're going to be really surprised at how golden and beautiful it's going to bake. These are off to that preheated oven on the middle rack for the next 12 to 15 minutes or until they're golden in color. Use your timer and no peeking. Looky here. Let's look in and see what it's going to be like on the inside. Let's see what these babies are like on the inside. Okay, here we go. Oh my yums. Look at that. Gotta give it a try. Mmm. Woo! Mmm. So cheesy. So delicious. You're not going to be disappointed in these ham and cheese pickled stuff croissants. They're delicious. I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Give me thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Hit that notification bell to be the first to get my new YouTube food videos. Thanks a million for watching you all. And I'll catch you lovely people later.